hello and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you how to make this cupcake platter as requested by many of my subscribers stay tuned so the first thing we're going to do is make the face by using the ends of a pipe and tip and just making the shapes to fit together now i'm rolling out some red fondant and i'm going to make the bow and the middle of the bow so i'm using this shape cutter and i'm just cutting out two triangle pieces and one mini circle and i'm going to put them together on the face Now I'm using some extra white gel paste and a tiny paintbrush just to make dots on the bow. So now I'm dusting my board with some corn flour and rolling out some red fondant. I'm going to be making some discs using a scalloped round cutter. So now we have the discs, I'm going to be using the magical set of sweet stamps and I'm using the number three and I'm imprinting this on the discs. I will be painting this later and I am using the pickup pad to imprint the three on each of the discs. Before I paint the impressions, I am cutting out some round circles just to decorate the discs. Once this is done, I'm going to use a perfect pour bottle and pour the gold luster dust, which is now paint, into the impression. Here I'm just kneading some black sugar paste and rolling it out. I am going to be using these as dome toppers so once I've rolled it out to my desired thickness I will get the round cutter and I will cut out four of these shapes. They then sit on the foam pad and make a dome shape. This is where I will leave this to dry. Now we're getting to the part where we actually decorate the board. So I've got some white sugar paste and this is from Aldi and it's just a cheap version. I don't use the expensive things when decorating a board because you don't need to. You just need something cheap and easy to use. Once I've kneaded the sugar paste well, I'm going to put it all together and roll it out. So I know that the board I'm going to be using is 13 inches wide. So I'm using my measurements on my board to make sure that the sugar paste is wider than that. So here I'm just measuring it to see if I've rolled out enough. Now I'm just using my water pen just to dab a bit of water on the board so the sugar paste can stick to it. Okay. 
as you can see I didn't quite roll out enough so now the sugar paste is on the board I can just go over it a few more times just to stretch it out and make sure that it covers the board and then I use the palm of my hand just to smooth out the sugar paste I'm now using my knife to cut off the excess sugar paste around the edges Here I'm just using my finger just to clean up the edges of the sugar paste making sure it's flush with the board and then I'm going to use the palm of my hand just to smooth it out again and rub out any imperfections. I'm now getting my 12 cupcakes placing them on the board just to see how they're going to fit. Once I've made space for all 12, I start pushing them down gently on the sugar paste to make an impression so I know exactly where I'm going to place the cupcakes later on and how much space I've got to write my message on the board. So again we're going to be using the magical set from the sweet stamp collection. The first thing I do is I take out all the letters of the message that I'm going to be imprinting making sure I have everything that I need. Once I have all the letters I need I start placing them on the plastic which came with the pickup pad and I can't remember the name of it um, but I place all the letters that I need and I use a pickup pad, it is sticky on one side, so I pick up all the letters that I need and I imprint them on the sugar paste. So as you can see, this is what I'm doing now. So I'm now writing the child's name or using the letters. And I've picked it up with the pickup pad and I, uh, I press firmly on the sugar paste. You have to make sure that the letters are imprinted quite deep to fill these letters with paint so I'm not actually painting them by hand I'm going to be filling them with luster dust so as you see I go over some of the letters to make sure that they are deep enough so they can hold the paint So now we're going to make the luster dust paint. I'm using Radiant Gold by Sugar Flare and I just pour a little bit of it in a glass. Then I use some dipping solution which has a high percentage of alcohol and this means that the paint will dry quicker than if you use vodka or lemon extract. I mix it up together. Then I will use a piping nozzle, a round one, and I will use it as a funnel. I have my perfect pour bottle which I also got from Sweet Stamp pour it over the top of the bottle and just pour the liquid in. I put the lid on top and give it a good shake. Now if you're new to using the perfect pour bottle it's always good to check your consistency on sugar paste before you use it. I've done this many times so I know exactly what I'm doing. So here I am just filling in the letters one at a time and the liquid just runs through the impressions because they are impressed in so deep. So the liquid just fills in the impressions. This is really quick and easy once you get the hang of it and it's much neater than actually painting in each letter. Okay, so while we leave that to dry, I have made some mini bows and some ears and these are going on those domed toppers that I made earlier. So the bows I made with a gem bow cutter, a small one. It was really quick and easy and now I'm just sticking them on the dome 
sorry you can't see what I'm doing I do try to show you later um, I stick on the bows and I stick on the ears Again, I'm just using that white paint and the end of the paintbrush this time just to add some detail to the bows. Now that our board is dry, I cut out some round circles just using the end of the piping nozzle and just made loads of little circles and just started decorating the board. Now I'm going to add some red ribbon to the board so I glue the sides of the board. This won't be eaten so I don't worry about using prick stick and get some red ribbon and just cover the sides. This, this just adds an extra touch to the board. So now it's time to stick our cupcakes to the board. So I'm just dabbing a bit of buttercream in between the impressions that I made earlier with the cupcakes. My buttercream recipe is 250 grams of butter to 250 grams of ice and sugar. That will do 12 cupcakes and you will still have some left over. So now I'm using the same buttercream just to decorate the cupcakes which I'm then going to put the toppers on. So I started doing the flat toppers because I wasn't sure how much buttercream I would need for the domed toppers. So that's why you can see that I have left out one. So I start by putting the flat toppers first. Once I do that I put a little bit more buttercream on the other cupcakes just so the dome toppers can fit nicely on top. And there we have it, a simple but cute and effective cupcake platter. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.
Thank you for watching.